Okay. Hello, I think everybody. we're here. I cannot tell how loud this music is in in terms of us. I have absolutely zero concept of sound balancing. The mic's gonna be a little weird today because we're gonna be trying to put it between both of us. For anyone who hasn't <laughs> been to one of these streams before, um, we are working on a like very long form summary of our last campaign that wrapped up in what April? Yeah. April, I April. think. Um and we haven't done it in a little while. So it's been we're a gonna bit. and the way this works is I am writing. I'm not gonna show the Google Doc because that would probably be boring. Um, so I'm just gonna show this picture of my character Soleil instead, <laughs> because that's cute. Um, and he has all of the notes and will be pacing around the room dictating what to write down. Yes. Um, which is great. So we, we're, at, we're up to eight pages so far, just so you know. Not bad, not um, bad. I need to find where that part goes. Uh, yeah. It would be located. So we did miss something last. Yeah, time. at the end of last stream. Do you um, have Leo Deluca in there? I think we do have Leo. Um, do you have the Headhunters? First of all, that's the not hit their men. name. They're that called was, the that, Hitmen. Sorry, that was what they were called initially. They hadn't decided what their what their name was yet. Uh, I know I do have them. Um, oh, that's the Dreams. This was way earlier than it I thought. Was, it huh? was earlier. Yeah. Did he? Golden Council. It, on his little tongue. It would be probably before the Golden Council. Are you sure? Um. I guess it would be. Hold on. Yeah, here it is. Here's yeah. the hitman. Here's the hitman. Cool. It's right, right after that. So wait, did well, did we already write this? Because I thought we already wrote about the mask. I think we just needed to move it. Okay. When did we? I could just search it. So he ended up me. creating the mask after you were admitted Here it is. to the Golden Council. Oh wait, this is this is about his mask. Hold on. Here, here's where we said he created it. Okay. We said he created it post destroying the the sewers, the sewer uh, church ruins thing. But apparently it's not here. Apparently it's not. Check his notes. You're the one that has the. Well, no, no, I remember he got the ingredients to do it. To do it. After you finished the Golden Council. I thought he had to, like, do stuff for the psychopomps. I love when people come to these streams because they're going to be like, we have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> We're just going to be going back and forth. This is what the stream is. Um, I guess I could share the Google Doc, like, in my Discord or something. Yeah, you could do that. I could do that while, um, while you're trying to figure this out. Follow along and, and is that, does it show my email? Because I'm not doing this on my personal email. Um, if I share it with, with, with the link, like, can I make it, like, anonymous? Oh. Um, like, I can definitely change it to just a view. So now nobody can edit. That's, that's good. But I don't know if they can see my email and I'm not super... Um super pumped up about that not that i don't trust you all but you know i think it does it does show your email okay well if anyone knows how to not do that then i'll share <laughs> i guess i could just copy it into a new one with my uh yeah my my, yeah, yeah. my other email That'd probably my be email that i'm cool with actually let's just see if i oh hey i can oh i have edit okay i see what i did yeah um, that's that's her Gotcha. Okay, so oh, it's still probably going to show the email, though. This well, is you a can, lot of work. What you can do is you can just copy the entire thing yeah, and make, and a, make new a new one, one, and that could be the one we, we continue to work on. Okay, I'm going to do that. Okay, you figure that rest out. I will do you that. Can, you can go to File. Oh, yeah, I can just duplicate it. And say, make a copy. Can I, will it let me... Uh... You will be the new owner of this. Oh, sick. And then you can and share And I can this. edit it. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Yay. Um, uh, just in case... That way people can follow along. Although, don't judge, like, grammatical structure or anything yet. I don't like to edit for for language or grammar until right. I finish something. That's fair. Well, no, that's not true. I do grammar right away, but I don't do language until I finish. Um, so you want to do share no, and then... No, I can do it from here. Okay. Anyone with the link can view. Sweet. Copy link. Should I put it in the chat? See if people are interested. 
You can yeah, you can throw in the chat or the Discord. Yeah, if you I'm throw in the Discord, then people who show up will also be able oh, to. Oh, I can't copy paste in here. So stupid, stupid Streamlabs. <laughs> also good to not post links in your chat, probably. I can post links in my own chat. Well, just bots could follow them. I mean, that's true. All right, so anyone who's in the Discord, I will put it... I'll put it. I'll put it in the announcement. I'll put it right underneath the announcement Sweet. for anyone who wants to follow along. Okay, hopefully that works. It says edit. I don't. I don't like that. Anyone can view. That's right. Yes. I guess I could do comment. They can make comments. That's kind of cute. We'll do that. I'll put comments on it. Actually, no, I won't. I don't trust people. This is the stream now. This is what's happening. Great, yes. We're good. Management. Okay. There, I did it. Okay, cool. Beautiful. Alrighty. Alright, now we can actually do things. Um, so, I have so where, his where am I moving drawing it to? of the mask. Yeah, where... He doesn't say when he, he finished it. He got it. it. Um... He, he does have the start of Am the Am I going to have to Discord message Sawyer? No, no, no. See, here's how I think it works. I think he made the mask, and they say you could improve it. Oh, yeah, that's probably it. Quests. That's probably what happened. I think he created... Because the, all the mask did was make it so he, as a black vampire, combusted in sunlight. Like normal vampires Like normal do. vampires do. So this mask made it so he did not do that. He then was allowed to get the abilities of Psychopomps over time by completing the side quests. Um, yeah, so I think so he, he got probably... the mask hit, like right after the Golden Council mission was finished because Which I believe I think is when we wrote it. I believe as a reward for finishing the Golden Council quest, he, he got, got the shit to make it. A necromancer's blood. Yeah, that is definitely. Which I think was the last one he was right. missing because he already had the blood of a powerful undead, which was the blood of Lulu Luca, the vampire. I gotta find the mask again. <laughs> it's gone now. That might be oh. where we put it. It might be. Um. Uh, yes. Oh, no. We said we created it here. He said, you, this is what you said. Um. This is what you told me. Through a box of diamond to blow the rinse of smithereens, he used the remnants of ghost ectoplasm mm -hmm. mixed with a feather to create the side comments match. You should take that... But he wouldn't have had the. He wouldn't have had the. He doesn't have the necromancer's blood here, so you should take so, that and put it after. Hang on, but I think this is after the Golden Council. Is it? Then that case yes, it's fine. That's after the Golden Council. Okay, then then maybe he didn't use the vampire's blood. He used uh, ghost blood instead. Yeah, here's the Golden Council. Cool. That's all right, up here. Then, then he's good. That that means he. Has all right, fine. Future. Now the other thing we need to add is Cedric's fucking bullshit. So uh, earlier I on. I fucking hate him. Um. Cedric and Soleil were doing a prank war. Uh, Cedric's prank was to move some wine bottles Steal. from the cellar. Moving wine bottles from the cellar of Stolen. the bar they owned into a bedroom inside. First one of all, of that Cedric did not bar. own the bar. No, no, no. I'm saying the the bar. That Hang the party on, we definitely owned. have inventory missing somewhere. It's not theft if the wine was moved. And all right, didn't it, this the is building. where it was. When did it come out? When? What do his notes say? Um, is it... it? It says Soleil stole liquor from my inn. <laughs> yeah, first spy. of all, fuck that. <laughs> yeah, he even spelled your name wrong. He did spell my name wrong. Uh, <laughs> he spelled it without the L. I at hated the end. Tom. I hated him. He was stole the fucking worst. Stole liquor from my inn. Uh, that was right after you killed Cedric McDonald. Oh shit! Really? Um, but right before the uh... Golden Council. Because uh, we found out about the inventory difficulties up here. Oh yes. wait. This is killing him. This is right. Um, yeah. So yeah, it would have so been right there. So we need to put it. We need to put the rest here then. Oh no, that, that's all correct. Yeah. You so when did we, when did I find out that it was him? That was Cedric. That's oh, the part not that we. For a while. Like it. But I don't then, how did Tom he know that, that Soleil stole liquor from my bar? That's how he. He found out because the dwarves told him oh. that they found it in my room. Yes, that's and when correct. the when he mentioned to me 
yes. what it what, that it was found with like some fucking bullshit. Yeah, some glitter. Some dust. glitter trap. I yes. was like, I know exactly what's going on. Okay. Got I was you. played. Got you. Got you. Got you. Um, I like, just put it in the same spot. What a stupid bitch. I guess you could put it in the same spot. Uh, okay. It's uh, nope, nope, here. Um, because the tunnel on that is it, um, unknowable. So. Yeah. So it says. We said after some intense interrogation resulted in no leads, they offered to ferret out, and then we returned to Ednox. Uh, sweet. So are we just um, gonna throw it there? I don't remember it where yeah, that, when that happened. It, it was a little bit later, but um, this so was yeah. very important you because just... this is when I started to fucking hate him. Um, <laughs> this is when we got into a huge uh, ass fight, and I thought about killing him. Um, no joke, I actually bought poison. Um. <laughs> so, so here you should just, it's like, after a few days of investigation. Uh, okay. Do we have his name? I don't know um, what his name was. I likely do. Uh, like the dwarf guy. Dwarf um, guy. Yeah, the leader of the dwarves working at your inn. Um. I put the leader of the dwarves twice. We'll have a place names later. I don't think he would have written it down. He actually got all of the wraith kids. It was fun. <laughs> I'm telling you, um, Sawyer is like insane. Yeah, I, I went through them fast. Uh, okay. I don't think he has the dude's name down. Um, it doesn't matter. He gets murdered. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. He gets super I dead. I forgot. Um, so he does uh, die. The leader of the dwarves uh, working at your bar discovered the wine bottles inside a locked drawer in Soleil's bedroom. Assigned bedroom, I guess I would say. I'm gonna say assigned bedroom. Yeah, when, in. Yeah, when the dwarf opened the drawer. <laughs> I'm so mad. A spring-loaded glitter bomb trap exploded in his face, along with the magically set word, gotcha. Is that real? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops, I wasn't supposed to see comma there. Wait, what did you say along with the... Uh, the magically set word, gotcha. Bless you. Thank you. Um, I hate the dwarf was happy to report that Soleil was his prime suspect, <laughs> and Tom immediately agrees. I'm gonna say to Tom because I was not told yes, about this. To those. Tom, obviously. And I guess saying Tom immediately confronted Soleil. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I went to go fucking interrogate that dwarf guy. Yeah. At knife point. I think you did. It's like, why are you lying about me? And he's like, I literally didn't. So they responded in a perfectly rational manner by threatening murder. Uh, you can include <laughs> that if you want. <laughs> by threatening the dwarf with murder. Um. By holding the dwarf at knife point. Yeah. Uh, after the dwarf's, uh, indignant, uh, explanation... Soleil realized who the true culprit was, and the party headed to Ednox. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no, I confronted him in Sunspire. Did you? It was in the Adventurers Guild because I thought about killing him. Oh. Also, I had the injector dagger at that point, and I didn't know about his necklace, so I was gonna just gank him in the middle of the Adventurers Guild. It was gonna be awesome. Okay. Um, it's fine. We can say it was Ednox, though. So I don't care. If you want, we could just move this block. It's until fine. Can... after the Golden Council thing. I do know that that was the case. Like, I do know sure. I had it. Because can... I was going to just straight up poison him and then inject him with the antidote with my dagger. Sure, you can move it. <laughs> that was my plan. You can just move his block. Um... Oh, did you keep it the same paragraph? I tried yeah. to make a page could break to make it separate. There. Um, yeah, okay. Should I... Should I... Yeah, you can clarify Cedric Ray, of course, as part of their prank. I 
hate him. Um, she immediately moved to confront him at yeah. the Adventurers Guild. Um, Cedric thought it was quite a funny prank and was surprised it took her this long to figure it out. Yeah, good. That was the last part of the sentence you said. Um, C Cedric thought it was a good prank and was surprised it took her this long to, fi to find it. Considering it was hidden in her nightstand, uh, in, in her bedside nightstand. After Slay didn't reveal she didn't sleep there. <laughs> Slay revealed that she did not sleep there, to which Cedric replied, Why do you not sleep in a bedroom with your name on it in a building that you own? I'm... Soleil said she preferred to sleep in a small crack in a wall underground. Hey, first of all, I didn't tell him that. Not yet. Uh, <laughs> I didn't tell him where I lived. That's true. That'd be creepy. <laughs> <laughs> to Cedric's credit, it made no sense why she wasn't sleeping there. <laughs> I forced him to, to tell Tom, I'm pretty sure. And I think, yes, you made Cedric explain to Tom that... It was not so bad. It was a prank. Um. <laughs> then we went to Etnox. Uh. Well, you could even have the the meanwhile the party went to Etnox still there. You could just move this block. Oh, I could. Until after the Gorm Council. Okay. I guess I could put it. I could put it here. Um, yeah, you could. You could page break. Put it there. Part of returns to Sunspot. No, no, they already did. Okay. Yeah. Huckleberry in. Great. I hate him. That was. I was. I literally was gonna kill him. Great. Is that I, everything? I think that's. I think that's everything. I was ready to murder that man at that point, which I feel is a perfectly rational reaction. <laughs> I okay. bought the most powerful poison that was available to me at that time. <laughs> Actually, I think I made it. Uh, I was like, I'm going to kill this fool in the middle of the Adventurer's Guild, and then I didn't because he actually agreed to apologize. I was like, if he gives me any pushback, I will murder him. <laughs> and I won't even feel bad about it. Um, that was when I was still on my chaotic evil kick. Yes, so you guys did some stuff. We, the last thing we have is Mumford's dream, right. specifically. You had your dreams. So the next step is what we did afterwards, which is a fucking shit show and a half. Okay, so let me skip forward quite a bit. Um, at this point, uh, so we did Mumford's. Was he the last one? He was the last one, yeah. Okay. Once the party reconvened, I'm pretty sure everyone told everyone about their dreams except me. Yes, and uh, explained their dreams to one another, minus so I. I was the only one that actually saw her. Um, yes. Uh, Which is fucking bullshit. The, they realized that there were some consequences they had to deal with. I'm pretty sure I tried to go to Carrie by myself and everyone followed me. Yes. Denise Wraith immediately announced that she would be leaving the party and heading back to Everglade for penance having just murdered a man. Um, 
let's say. Uh, the party also realized that Soleil likely was a wanted woman, having burnt down more than a city block. I don't know that they did. Um, Carrie may have told them, but I definitely did not tell did them you what not, happened. Uh, did you not tell the party that you woke up in a burning building? I don't I remember how did. much I told them. Because... Mumford I remember I didn't out. tell them everything. Mumford figured it out. Mumford figured out I that... I think he rolled really high on something. Okay. Mumford figured out that you were the one responsible, and that's why he paid off to not... to have an innocent man not get assassinated. Yeah. Well, um, innocent air quotes. Uh, it was someone Carrie didn't like. Uh, <laughs> so... Um... I just... I don't remember... I do remember I deliberately didn't tell. Yes. But... You didn't tell them about your dream. But I, I may have told them about the consequences. I don't remember. Yeah, you might have told them that you ran out of a burning building. Um, I, I will buy that I did that. It wasn't also a city block. It was it was a building. But it was still bad. It was a chemical factory. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it was a woman. Not much different than normal. Right. <laughs> um, the Soleil headed down to the Thieves' Guild with her party in tow. Ask Carrie for advice about the issue. They found, or, uh, upon arrival, they found that Carrie had already put out a con uh, kill contract on Gerbis Filch, an alchemist. worked in that district who was well known for being disagreeable. Mm -hmm. He also saw a number of us um, that night. Uh, who did? Carrie. Carrie? Oh, certainly. <laughs> um, I forgot about that until right now. Yes, uh, Carrie also revealed that several members of the party, I don't know if it was several, I think it was... Me. It was me, yes. Maria. Yes, it was you and Maria. Yeah, I think that, I think, I think it might have just I been the two of us. I think Tom talks to his super superior. Yes. Um, he also revealed that both Soleil and Maria, uh, and Maria Wraith, the alchemist, had visited him the previous night, despite the party members having no memory of this. Okay. Apparently, both of them had acquired some rather dangerous alchemical reagents. Soleil heavy explosives while Maria had acquired powerful curative agents. Okay. Based upon their respective dreams, the party deduced that Soleil while possessed, I hate that word. I had acquired the materials necessary to burn down the alchemist building. While Maria was producing an alchemical cure for a powerful pathogen. to the northeast towards the city of Whitehaven or the cities of Whitehaven and Sugar Shore. Realizing that Gervis Filch was innocent of the accused crime, Mumford Steeltoe 
ever the Boy Scout. Immediately paid off the bounty on Filch's head. So lay feeling guilty, reverse pickpocketed and yeah. offered the money. As some assassins grumbled outside the door, as some would-be assassins grumbled from outside the door, I guess, um, Carrie offered the party another contract. Uh, this would be uh, a new paragraph yes. uh, with the assassins grumbling outside oh. the door, probably. Lord Sunspire wished for a group of agents skilled in subtlety to enter the city of Flamespear. Which was now under the control of Makaklaka. M-A-K-A. I'm just, just sounded out. I didn't take notes. I didn't write down a damn thing. For sure. I mean, like, uh, Tom spelled it like, uh, my, like, M Mick Cocklicka. Mm. <laughs> Cocklicka. Um, uh, fuck. Oh, he would. <laughs> um, so from there, uh, da -da 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 -da. let's see, what, what were you guys doing around here? Under Maybe. the control of my Cocklicka? Uh, yes. Odysseus Sunspire, uh. um, unofficial head of the Thieves Guild. Uh, I guess, alright, fine. One of the board members of the Thieves Guild. Yeah. Get that um, shit out of here. Uh, and leader of the Assassins. Um, I guess also you can include and one of Sunspire's children. Many titles. Okay. Had, um, had without permission snuck into, uh, snuck into Flamespear and attempted to assassinate Makako. An idiot. Um, Makako had released a public announcement stating that he had captured would-be assassin and his um and his band of goons hang on just one saying I suppose it's gonna be over why is it giving me a whatever um he captured uh, a, a would-be assassin and his band of goons Lord Sunspire did not want the party to break out Odysseus, quite the opposite. He simply wanted agents to report on the goings on without causing any further political disturbance. Which we did. Totally Fucking flawlessly. Did. Um, 
We should get all the way up to the, if we can, get up to the vampire fight today, yes. and then stop, because Sounds so good. many people fucking love that story. Okay, alright. Um, that I'm gonna advertise it. Great. Uh, then, uh, after, so, uh, additionally, Lord Sunspire wished for the party to retrieve as many different types of firearms a new weapon being produced in Flame Sphere. As well as any blueprints that they can find. Um, I don't think Mumford wanted a motorcycle yet. No, I don't think um, so either. Yeah, I think that was something actually he thought of. He after thought about it. Flame Spear. Uh, he might have thought about it in Flame Spear. But then he never went and got it. Actually, yeah, maybe he did want I that. Think he got spot. the blueprints. He made it. We need to make a list of questions we have for people. I don't know if he got the blueprints. Because I thought he got the blueprints while in hell. Maybe. I'm not sure. He got the thing to power it while we were in hell. He got the soul coin in hell. They didn't use that as the power source. Well, he that was what he gave he brought to them saying yes. that it could be used yes. and they didn't ultimately they, use it. They ended up but that was when uh, they really started working on it. Yeah, they went with green energy. He instead uses a small sun mm. that could blow up a city block. Um but We also need to add Tiffany in here. Oh yeah yeah yeah. That'll that be, be after it. Uh great. Uh I guess page break. Um Tom left, or uh, Tom went to his superior uh, to seek more information about his contract. There he learned that he had also visited his superior the previous night, asking quite a bit about Tom's personal goings-on, and the political uh, situation in Sunspire. Which did not strike um, anyone as odd for some reason. Uh, no, it struck everybody as disturbing and everyone was afraid. Actually. Yeah, but nobody fucking did anything about it. There was nothing you could do about it. You could just throw him in jail. Um love to see Tom thrown in jail. No, no, he told the supervisor that he was possessed. Oh, cool. And the supervisor was like, well, fuck. Uh, <laughs> cool. Thank you for letting me know now. Uh, we'll have to take better care about that. Um, so I think uh, so the period um, you could be apparently whatever creature had possessed the party was gathering information on multiple fronts. Uh, remember how great that session was because it was so many people's like guest session. Oh yeah, it was a awesome. dream session. It was so good. Where we all were just sitting around the table, slack jawed oh, at the yeah. horror you were putting us through. Oh yeah, it was. We fantastic. were all so upset. It was so great. <laughs> it was awful. Just like, a, all right, give me a DC like thirty charisma saving throw at disadvantage. And meanwhile, everyone, you know, once you saw, I think Tom was first, and then the rest of us just, like, looked at each other and we were like, oh, Jesus. The like, table was dead it silent. It was silent. It was so great. It was honestly one of my favorite moments as a DM of just, like, I wanted to inspire this. I didn't think it would work so well. Like, <laughs> it was I thought, terrifying. I thought there was going to be more, like, oh, my God, this is complete horseshit. Like, I wanted, like, I, I was. No, we were so scared. I was expecting more complaints, and instead it was just, like, a, oh, oh, no. No. You scared us. I'm glad. I'm glad I did that. Because Matt does that occasionally. Yeah. And so does no. Brennan. And so does Brennan. And I'm glad I got to, too. Um, because it means a lot to me. I'm pretty sure I didn't speak to you for the rest of the night. It was awesome. Uh, you spoke to me on the car ride home, so I'm not Probably gonna... angry words. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, it was a lot of what the fuck. <laughs> I was like, mm, I don't know. It was not okay. You made the save. Yeah, I know. The last one. Yeah. 
Thank that God. The, that was the one that mattered. That's yeah. the one that kills you. Nah, I thought I was gonna die, for sure. I was like, I'm not gonna make this. Once I didn't make the first two, I was like, I'm not gonna make this save. Right. I think, I think it was charisma, so I was like, okay, at least I'm good at this. N uh, I can't remember. One of them was wisdom and one of them was charisma. I want to say that... There's no way I made the wisdom save. I think you made the charisma one because you did so... Uh, you made the... Well, no one made the charisma save. Yeah. That was meant to be unsaleable. Um, it was like, if you get somehow a, nat a, natural, 20. a double nat 20, you might be able to, like, stop a party member from doing something bad. Um, I think it was, like, a DC 22. Uh, but the wisdom saving throw, almost everyone made it. I think Tom made it. I think you made it. I think you got a nat 20. Oh, that would make sense. Because I was advantage. like, there's no way. Oh, yeah, because I had advantage. Um, I, I think Denise failed. Denise was one of the few people that I was thinking would succeed. Yeah, She's and then proficient. And she failed, so she killed the medicine guy. Um, with her match, with her as a bummer. Uh, Maria succeeded, and she was gonna blow herself up. Yeah. She's gonna be a bummer. Um, let's see, who else? Mumford was... succeeded. Mumford? Twitch failed, I think. Mumford failed, I wanna say, as well, because he was, he started breaking the boat. I thought he stopped right before. Oh, you're right, he was about to turn and attack uh, Yeah, he was Marcus. about to attack Marcus. Um, so he succeeded there as well. Um, did we add in that part? We did. We right? did. We did. Okay, great. Yeah. Um, cool, cool. Um, great. Uh, good times. Where are we now? Uh, Tom. Tom was talking to Tom was talking to the superior. Um, yeah. Learned some information. Tom also learned. Uh, had, had we discussed that he wanted to build a castle yet? Yes. Yes, okay. we discussed that. Uh, Tom also learned. That the construction of his might... castle was going very slowly. Good. However, there were rumors of an artifact capable. Wait, of we may have done. We may have said this already too. Oh, uh, search liar in this. Yep. Okay. Was um, touring near Flamesbury. Great. And that was what he found out. Oh, great. Okay. Um, I guess you can go... Wait, have we talked about Macaclica and going to Flamespear yet, then? We talked... Uh, we said that... Okay, keep going. Kill a dragon. Okay, no, you did not go to Flamespear. No, we you haven't just, gone to Flamespear. You just knew this about it This is when we went wild. to Flamespear, yeah. Okay. yeah. You have known about it. I'm positive that this is when we went. Okay. Um, you, I guess you could say Tom was also reminded that the wire of building was still within Flamespear. Because you have a lot of reasons to go. We did. Um, ooh, ooh. Uh, go back up to Carrie. And yeah, Carrie's, like, information dumps, you guys. Um, right, okay. Mumford and Twitch also learned from Carrie that, uh, that there were rumors of a slaver Oh wait, this should probably oh, wait, be a no. Bit. Did you oh, fuck. Um I guess I guess uh they also learned from Carrie, because Carrie did tell them a bit of information about this. Uh they learned from Carrie that the Brando Brandy Company was based in Flamespear, and they could likely learn more about their missing orphans. Uh, should they investigate. Because that is what sparked yes. you guys doing that. That's important, John. Does. Um, yeah, missing orphans. They're they're not only right? so they gotta find the orphans. Get them chiefs. Jesus. Um, I cannot believe they both came to the table on the same day with the exact same backstory. <laughs> I like I like how Tom has nothing from arriving in Flamespear until. We fought a vampire lord. Yeah, because nothing exciting happened. That's, that's the sentence he has describing that. We fought a vampire lord, lost, we burned his building down, and got away. Good, at least he admits that he fucking lost. Yeah. 
Well, because the only th I don't think we really did anything. We we got there. We went to Tiffany's family's house. We hung out. You went to Macaulica. That was we a went very to Macaulica. I keep forgetting because it was not important to me. You, you went. It, it was super important because it was essentially you got to learn what he was going to do to Odysseus. Yeah, that first was like, you got cool. there and saw Odysseus. So let's get to that. Oh yeah. Well, we gotta get um, Tiffany first too. Right. Okay. Tiff we gotta pick up Tiffany and Sunspire. Great, 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 great. Um, meanwhile, um, Soleil decided to spy on her family. I, love I prefer the term check on. Check on. You can have spy on and then <laughs> strike through. Yeah. <laughs> it's a. We've decided that F. a certain person is writing this and a certain other person is editorializing. Uh, Alt Shift F. F. I didn't you I hit have... R. Oops. Alt shift. Liar. Huh. Try alt shift five. No, I don't want that. There. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. My mistake. <laughs> um. Uh, check on her family. Once there, she saw that Solange was being visited by one of Soleil's flamboyant cousins, Tiffany Lillard, the newest member of the party. Does Tiffany spell her name with two Fs or one F? God it's, damn it. it ends with an I and it's yeah. one F. It's one F, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it autocorrected. Damn it! Uh, it's T I F A N I. Yeah. No! Yeah, there you go. Is that she spelled Lorelei? I don't think I ever wrote it out. Yeah, that is how you spell Lorelei. Okay, cool. Um, it's. I don't think that's correct way to spell Lorelei. It's Lorelai. not. Yeah, but that is the way that, that at she least did it. I was doing that it, you were and doing I think it? she asked for it. So. Okay, I think I think I think I also asked for it. Yeah, because you didn't have a last name until this moment i think at this moment yeah i didn't i did not she declared that was our last that was your name. last name and i was, and I was like, like guess that's my last name yeah it's like i'm from a prestigious line of, of bards, bards and, and i'm like, like guess i guess who, <laughs> i guess that's my last name guess who just has to rewrite a couple characters to be melded together um <laughs> so at that point um uh she uh tiffany was a eccentric college student taking time off from her bard studies to focus on the wild magic flowing within her sorcerer's veins. Yeah, that sounds so creepy. Uh, you just wild magic flowing her. through her body. Yeah. No, I'm just gonna play like that. Cool. Um, uh, she had heard about Soleil's adventurous exploits and invited herself to into the party and was immediately welcomed. <laughs> because that's fun. Much to Soleil's chagrin. I was, that's exactly what I was gonna write. That's, that's, I feel like, a very common phrase. It this, is. And that's okay. And I that's think... okay. Pretty much everything that happened in this damn campaign is much to Soleil's chagrin. That could be the title of that, this. That should be the title. Soleil's autobiography. Much to my chagrin. <laughs> uh, dictated by Soleil. Um, great. No, you know Shadrick did this. <laughs> well, yeah, she dictated it to Cedric. She, she just read it afterwards. Very slowly. <laughs> yes. Like a paragraph at a time. And was like, no. Uh, no. It's wrong. Um, great. The party then all decided to travel down to Flame Spear. Along the road south, the party got bored and decided to go kill some hydras. See, okay. This I do not remember at all. It's crazy that you don't remember this. I do not. It not is, one bit. It is crazy that you do not remember this. Why? Did something happen to me? No. It just was 
so classic D and D. It out was, of nowhere. but like, it was. It's not related was, to the main plot, so right, I don't remember it. This was a point at which, like, I felt like I built like a political building, like a a a structure that you guys can play within in any direction that you want. And it was like, yeah, we're gonna do that. But hold on one second. Yeah, let's just go, let's go like, over here. Let's just do some like basic D and D shit, which is awesome, by the way. I'm not playing down that, but just like let's just go kill a monster. And I'm like, <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> they went into the forest and killed a hydra, and that was it. <laughs> was I really hydras. don't remember that um, at all. <laughs> and decided to go murder some hydras. They did so and moved on. Um. <laughs> Along the road, or further down along the road, they saw several large machines traveling incredibly quickly with goblins as their pilots. These mechanical vehicles had their designs uh, uh what was misappropriated <laughs> from hell and were being built within flame sphere by their industrial engines I guess from the nine hells would be more eloquent okay. than, than from hell dun 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 Yes. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, with, uh, uh, huddling close to their murder wagon. The party tentatively approached the large, smoky city. Hold on, I gotta capitalize murder wagon. Is it's a proper noun? Of course it's a proper noun. And this is the last you this ever saw of it. <laughs> you never decided to go back and we get it. We sent Maria. Did you? Yes. Did you? Okay. Did you end up getting it back? I, I don't, don't remember. remember. It was irrelevant after that because we got the fucking boat. Yes, um, it was. It was. Um, that's something that I should, like, mention. Oh, yeah. How long was the boat fucking sitting there? A while. Oh, wait. You guys haven't done going up into the mountains yet. No. That's the point at which I'm going to mention it. Okay. Because that's the point at which I said it in game. <laughs> up until that point, you did not know it existed. Yeah, except for me. because You, you knew for you like... You told me that something was there. You didn't even tell me what it was. No, 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 no. I didn't even say that. I said for like three or four sessions, I told Jessica out of character... Remind that me. That my other party had a quest for these guys. That's what I told you. Yeah, and I was like, and oh, I was like, sick. As part of that quest, That's they're going awesome. to give you some stuff. And you're like, oh, awesome, sick. And then it's like, just remind me to tell you in game because it's completely ancillary and has nothing to do with what you guys are currently doing. And it's also impossible for you guys to complete the quest. Like I told her that out of, the, out of character because it was like, all right, if the party decides to go and try to follow this lead, I need you to tell them not to because... <laughs> They're not gonna, like, I wasn't about to allow my other party going on at the same time, who was, like, level 22 at this point, to subcontract Pathfinder. out. Pathfinder. Pathfinder level 22. To subcontract out a major plot point. Like, that wasn't gonna happen. So. <laughs> and then they got all mad at us for not doing it. And yeah. I was like, you assholes. No, and, and don't worry. Like, it was out of character, something that I thought was really funny, where they were like, oh, hey, maybe we could tell them to go find it. And then one of them is like, they're not going they're to. They're not gonna. Uh, and then I was like, yeah, but they might. might. Mike might let them find it. And I was just like, okay. <laughs> As if. <laughs> like, that's not gonna happen. This guy's gonna show up exactly when you don't want to, which was in the middle of a fight with the Tarrasque. Uh, he just hovered down out of the sky. <laughs> Uh, I remember. I think I was listening to that. You uh, probably session. were because I want you to be listening. It's like here's where the Tower of War was. It was following the Tarrasque around. I'm like, oh, um, we could never have found it. No, it was on the other side of the world. Yeah, assholes. <laughs> uh, they didn't know. 
And they didn't need the boat at that point. They had Dragon Ball Z instant, instant transmission around the world at that point. Well, then they took the boat back like assholes. Uh, at the end of the campaign, you guys, you guys did not need it anymore once they took it. That, that is something we I We had developed true. a relationship with that boat. You did. But he got turned into a Star Destroyer, and I think he's happier that way. <laughs> anyway. Um, we approach the city. You approach the city. Um, there, there's a queue to get in. That doesn't really matter. Uh, upon entering, you realized that the city was going through a cultural upheaval. Tents and ramshackle barracks had been erected all around the city walls uh, uh, to house the massive Is army. It, did you say around the city walls? Uh, around and within, I guess, as well. To house the massive army of orcs, goblins, and hobgoblins that had traveled south. Nearly every guard and officer were one of these races, and you could see many of the non uh, of uh, many of the previous inhabitants of the city were. Either choosing to leave or adapting to this to their new neighbors. Okay. Um, the party saw a ruckus at the town square and decided to investigate. There they saw. The statue at the center of the square towering over the shops and stalls had been animated to have its arms wrapped around the neck of an unconscious adult black dragon that hung limply from the statue's grip. It's animated, once you finish this, wouldn't be the right word. Reshaped, the statue would be re like. Okay. Yeah. Have been magically reshaped. Around the statue. I keep writing statute instead of statue. Oh, yeah. Statues. Just law school things. Law school things. Around the statue, a dozen assassins in dark garb were strung up by their hands and feet. Alive. Oh, sorry. Beaten, unconscious, but alive. Many onlookers gasped, pointed, and jeered at the would-be assassins of the new guardian of Flamespear. Um, I think I should specify that the black dragon here is Odysseus Sunspire. Yeah. I, I don't know if that's... <laughs> Uh, obvious from the way we phrased it. Um, I'll, I'll put in parentheses. Yes. Um, uh, I guess you could also say Odysseus's assassins rather than Odysseus. Yeah. Odysseus's assassins. A fraternity. Yeah. Just the worst. Um. 
did you guys do next? I think you decided to go talk to Makaklaka. I, I think probably. that was I think that was your first I literally think we talked to Makaklaka, oh, we went to Tiffany's house, and then we started the vampire shit. Yeah. Did you go to Tiffany's house first? We may have, but I don't remember. That doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. Um Oh yeah, alright. Uh the party then decided to confront Makakoka about his recent takeover of the city. Once they arrive at the Flame Spear Keep, they were welcomed in by the numerous goblin spellcasters all wearing robes that mimicked uh all wearing robes detailed with the map of Elusa mimicking Makakoka on the inside of the walls You found that many of the goblins moving around had blue skin, like Makakwaka did. And even saw uh, several of them leaving the keep, transforming their blue skin into the familiar Which is the same thing to talk about. Not right that I think we already mentioned that. Uh, the party was invited into a small guest house. Where a blue goblin, or a familiar blue goblin, sat at the end of a table. wearing a beautiful amulet. Well, I guess they all were wearing these. So, uh, I guess I guess mentioned that they were wearing the robes and uh, amulets back before. Um, um, all were wearing, uh, I guess, um, mm -hmm. large amulets. Perfect. Um, uh, yeah, then I guess uh, you could end the sentence there. Okay. Makaklika treated with the party. Uh, and the party learned that he was doing great things within the city for both the production of industry and for equal rights among goblinoids. Um, uh, yeah, equal rights uh, for the goblinoids that lived there. Given their previous history, the party decided that they liked Makaklika and would not act antagonistic against him. At least not yet. And we were also told not to. So. Uh, you also were told not to, but you all very did. But you all very much did consider that you, you were just going to go fight him. I had an entire boss fight plan. Yeah, it was a really cool boss fight. Um, because so cool. I was fairly convinced that all of you would go fuck that. Let's do the chaotic thing because that had been what you had done up until this point. I didn't expect you to do it with something completely ancillary five minutes later. <laughs> Which was insane to me, by the way. Neither it still, did I. It still blows my mind. We're not going to get there today. I had one boss fight planned, and you decided to go to another one that you both the party it. and me was unprepared for. Um, so, uh, you guys decided in Makakuka you didn't want to fight him. After the meeting... 
The goblin's eyes rolled back, and the amulet flashed. And when the goblin came to, he greeted the parting party in a different voice. Apparently, this was simply one of Makaklika's numerous children, whom Makaklika, through the amulets, could possess and act through uh, as surrogate bodies. With this disturbing revelation, the party quickly exited Flamespear Keep and headed towards Tiffany's summer home. <laughs> Here in Flames Bear. I, I also think it was literally like, she was like, do I know anyone here? And you were like, give me a luck check. Yeah. And I think she got a natural 20. Right, I'm like, your summer home is here, and your parents also are here, as it is currently autumn-ish. Uh, they're, they're deciding whether or not to leave now about. Um, a little racist. Slightly racist. Slightly racist. Um, want to so, just get through that, and then do you want to do done. the rest of the... Yeah, we should probably keep the vampire stuff together. Yeah, that makes sense. Because there were there are two separate investigations. There is a lot of it. It's just like the first, the first place, and then the big boy. Yeah. But um, I think it does make more sense to keep it together. Yes. And we're definitely not getting through that whole vampire fight today. I'm going to advertise the shit out of that, because everyone always asks me about that story. <laughs> We've told it, like, at least six times, and we will do it again. Um, sweet. Uh, do you so, remember anything about Tiffany's family that's important? It, it's not really. I mean, you could... It, will be, it might be for paragraph. later, but... Um, Tiffany's father... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put page for here instead. Right. Uh, Tiffany's father, uh, who, I think his name was Duke. I think so, too. Um, uh, Tiffany's father, Duke Lorelei, took his wife's name, as the Lorelei family was renowned for its excellent, and uh, was yeah, renowned, I guess, uh, was famous. You don't have to have the explanation, actually. I was like, took his wife's name, uh, and was a blade-dancing wizard of admirable skill. I don't remember her mom's Tiffany's name. mother, um... What was her name? Smethany. <laughs> no, that wasn't her No, name. it wasn't. Here, let me, let me see if I have it. That's one that I actually probably do have. Smethany. Um, Smethany. It, it should have been. If I had known about Smethany, it would have been. Um, Fucking Smethany. Is it Stephanie? It might be. I don't remember. Uh, You'd think I'd remember. No, it's, no. It's, Stephanie it's... was the first Lorelei. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, Duke Lorelei. Uh, I don't remember her name. She's my aunt. You think I'd remember? Yeah. But I don't, because I don't care. I have Duke Lorelai in my notes a lot, but I don't <laughs> But you have... don't have her mom? I don't... Oh no. We'll never remember. Make up a name. Uh Name her. Smith. No, we're not naming her Stephanie. Uh, fine. Her, she could also be Stephanie. Okay. After her incredibly great grandmother. 
um, Stephanie Lorelei was a bard worthy of the Lorelei name. Ah. <laughs> what? You don't like that? I hate the Lorelei name. <laughs> At this point in time. Um, they welcomed the party to use their home as a base of operations while within flame sphere. <laughs> the multiple halfling uh, the, a, a small legion of halfling servants waited at their beck and call. Um, Is that it? I don't think anything else exciting happened. I think that's mostly it. That's mostly I mean, it. You then pretty much immediately were like, all right, time, time to, to go to the Brando business. Because uh, here's, to their credit, Here's where both Twitch and Mumford's minds went. They were like, okay, in the JRPG, you do the side quest first, because if you do the main quest... You have to leave. Then you have to leave. So you have to do the side quest first to make sure it doesn't go away. So we did the side quest first, right. and that was a mistake. So the party all decide, okay, there's several side quests we want to do. First side quest, this. Second side quest, we're going to go and we're going to get... Uh, the Liar of the Building. Yep. And the third side quest, or I guess the, and then the main quest was going to be, all right, and then acquire a bunch of firearms. Yeah. Which I think was... the part was going to be like, all right, we're going to have to steal some because only the guards have Yeah, them. so we'd have to knock out some guards So and steal that them. was going to think of, be a thing of, okay, we're going to knock out guards. That's going to make the city hot. We're going to have to leave afterwards. The logic was there. Until it wasn't. Until they turned a recon mission into an assault. That, Listen, is, that is when it was... If there was one thing a majority of the Dawn, aka everyone except me, was not good at, it was stealth missions, which made my job as a rogue incredibly <coughs> difficult, especially an assassin rogue. Uh, we were playing last night and someone has assassin rogue abilities and I looked over at him and I was like, must be nice. Must be nice to be an assassin rogue and get to use your abilities. You I wouldn't use, know. You got to use your abilities quite a bit. I never got on. to use the crit one. Oh, early yes, on. Yes, you did. Early on, you got to use the crit run plenty. Yeah, but then everyone was like, I we're was, all running in. I was also incredibly kind as a DM where I did not play that raw. I got yes, to let thank you, you, like, all right, I, mean, I want to crit him. I mean, if we were playing it raw, I never would have gotten you it. You rolled so bad on initiative. You rolled terrible I know, which is why I just tried so hard to buff my initiative. You did. You successfully I buffed. I did. I, I had advantage <laughs> plus 11 in the advantage end. plus 11 by the end because you wanted to have good initiative and you... I did it. Did, you I did. did. I did that. By the end of it. Um, okay. I think that's it. I know. I think that's it for now. I think next time we'll do the stupid vampire story. I guess I guess we could write it. <coughs> Bless you. The party organized a plan. Yeah, let's... First, they would visit the Brando Brandy Company and learn about the orphans. Uh, learn about the orphans. And hopefully learn about the Next, they would locate the owner of the Liar of Building and hopefully convince her to build uh, the Dawn's Castle. It was not the Dawn's Castle. It was Tom's Fine. Castle. Fine. And that Tom's I helped castle. pay for, but he let me know it was very much his castle. So I was going to torch the place as soon as it was built. <laughs> So I really had a thing, maybe it's just you, really have a thing about trying to burn down stone structures. It's great. It's <laughs> Someday fully, I'll find a way. It's fully impossible to burn down a castle. That doesn't stop me from trying. <laughs> um, uh, next they would, yeah, find the owner of the Liar building and convince him. Um, uh, the orphans should have it's plural orphans, apostles. Oh, yes, that is true. Thank you. <laughs> the single healer orphan. Um, current locations, I guess. Um, Didn't he have a stupid name for it? Um, to build... Oh, yeah. He absolutely had like a stupid... Castle Finn or something, something no. dumb like that. Finland. Um, it was Finland. Finland. Yes. Tom's Castle Finland. Yep, here it is. Finland he has a whole fucking report. page on it. He has a whole page on it. 
Lyre's building is in Sun Spear, uh, Sun, a flame spear, owned by an elf woman named Rosegold. Oh shit, we did actually know all of that. Yeah, I told you about that a long time ago. Why didn't I know that was my mom? It's a moniker. Her yeah, I know. Isn't, her, her name is Pira. Uh, she goes by Rosegold as a That's stage true. name, uh, and that was something she didn't come up with until she, after she left. So of course you wouldn't know her as Rosegold. Okay. What a choir. I think it would be fun to find Rose Gold, track down quotes, uh, right there. Uh, quotes Rose Gold, comma, the owner of the line building. Is it two words or one word? Uh, one word. Okay, like that? Yeah, and then another comma. Sweet. Uh, lastly, the party would acquire large number of firearms and deliver them back to Sunspire uh, and, and hopefully escape back to Sunspire. I guess is a better way of phrasing it. Little did they know how little of their plan would go <laughs> go well. Or I guess you could just say, as usual, nothing went according to plan. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> yikers. <laughs> I, I think the yikes did also spell this out pretty well. Mm, uh, beautiful. It's ten pages now. Uh, Jesus Christ. This is still probably like act maybe two. I would say this is act two, yeah. Ah, uh, well, that was fun. I gotta figure out I'm streaming next week, because I don't know. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned for that. Stay I'm gonna tuned. record Danganronpa like all day tomorrow. It's gonna be awesome. Super scared. Uh, and I'll be back. We'll probably do Miitopia on Monday. I'll do Final Fantasy on Wednesday, because it might be a later stream, because I am doing something... And then Saturday, maybe we'll do Stardew or something. That sounds I fun. I forget what's supposed to be next. I'll look at I'm it. I'm super down. All right. Have a good afternoon, everyone. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Have a good day.